Personal Injury Landmark Cases, Catco vs. Briney Marvin Catco, the plaintiff in this case, lived with his wife in Eddyville, Iowa, seven miles from their old residence, and worked as a gas station attendant. Catco presumed that the Briney property had been abandoned for a long time since he had been seeing it while hunting in the area. He and his friend Marvin McDonough had visited the Briney property prior to the incident and discovered some vintage bottles and fruit jars which they stole and added to their antique collection. On July 16, 1967, they returned to the Briney property for a second time. They gained access to the abandoned house by removing a board from the broken porch window. Catco then walked to another part of the Briney house while McDonough was looking around the kitchen. A shotgun that had been set up as a trap went off as Catco was about to open the north bedroom door, striking him in the right leg just above the ankle bone. Much of his leg was blown away, including a portion of his tibia. He stayed at the hospital for 40 days. He was lucky enough to receive medical treatment with the help of McDonough, who brought him to his vehicle and took him to a doctor first before rushing him to the hospital. It was a relief that the healing procedure eventually worked out because his doctor was seriously considering amputating his leg. Remember that this happened in 1967. Catco returned to work on crutches a few weeks after being released from the hospital. He had to keep his wounded leg in a cast for around one year and wear a special brace for another year. He suffered from a permanent deformity, a loss of tissue, and a shortening of the leg from the shotgun. According to the record, the plaintiff had incurred $710 in medical expenses prior to trial and the following. $2,056.85 in hospital treatment, $61.80 in orthopedic service, and $750 in lost wages. Furthermore, the trial court asked the jury to decide on damages for pain and suffering as well as future disability as a result of the injury. Catco said that he knew it was illegal to enter the Briney property, but still went anyway. He added that he also pleaded guilty to larceny of property amounting to less than $20 from another private property. He claimed he had been fined $50 in costs and had been released from a 60-day jail sentence on good behavior. Aside from some minor traffic violations, the plaintiff was claiming that this was his first run-in with the authorities. Bertha, the defendant, inherited her parents' farm in Mahaska and Monroe counties in 1957. There was also an 80-acre land in southwest Mahaska County where her grandparents and parents had lived, which Bertha inherited. After that, no one lived in the house. Edward, her husband, tried to look after the land. He didn't have any farm machinery on the property. The outbuildings began to deteriorate. From 1957 until 1967, a series of trespassing and housebreaking incidents occurred, resulting in the loss of various household items, the breaking of windows, and causing damage to the property. The law has always placed a higher value upon human safety than upon mere rights in property. It is the accepted rule that there is no privilege to use any force calculated to cause death or serious bodily injury to repel the threat to land or property unless there is also a threat to the defendant's personal safety as to justify a self-defense. The court decided that the excessive force caused by the spring-loaded shotgun was not justified since the landowner was not at home and the gun was therefore only protecting property and not her personal safety. After careful study of the defendant's claims, the decision of the lower court was affirmed on appeal as there was no reversible error. The plaintiff was awarded $20,000 actual and $10,000 punitive damages for the injuries he suffered. Go to youraccidentlawyer.com to learn more about us or call 602-600-6427 to schedule a free consultation.